Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Providencia and I'm here with another food tutorial and I'm making Dominican style beans, okay? So we're gonna do this the Dominican way. Um, I have been doing a little bit of Dominican recipes in my channel um, for the simple fact that, you know, I had a few subscribers asking for these recipes and they're Dominicans. Um, I tried the best I can because I am Puerto Rican, but come on, Dominican and Puerto Rican, they, they kind of cook almost the same. <laughs> Maybe just a little slightly different, but almost the same. So it, it's, it's no biggie, you know what I'm saying? But that's why I've been um, making Dominican dishes. I hope you are enjoying them. Um, so let's get started on these beans. Um, I got here some pinto beans and I think I got a recipe on pinto beans. Oh, somebody's calling me. I'm just gonna ignore the call. Um, but anyway, I think I have a recipe on pinto beans. If I am not mistaken, either I did it with a, through the you know with a can, or I did it from scratch. You know, like you know, put it with the water overnight and all that other stuff. I'm. I don't know. I gotta check through my channel. I got so many recipes in my channel. So, you know, but we're gonna do this Dominican style anyway. So it doesn't make a difference if I have an, another recipe with pinto beans, you know. So we have here pinto beans. Um, you could use either pinto beans or Roman beans from what I, you know, from from what I see that Dominicans like, you know, of course they like, you know, pink beans and red and kidney beans and all that, but I, I kind of noticed that they like a lot of pinto beans and Roman beans. Um, I also have a, a friend that's Dominican and she be telling me everything. So, um, we got here pepper. We got here tomato sauce. If you got tomato paste, then, you know, work with the tomato paste. Just don't add too much because, you know, tomato paste is pasty. <laughs> I got here oregano. I have here some salt. I might add more salt. I'm not too sure. Let's see. That's why I have it here. I have here some olives, some salad olives. These are, to me, I think these are the best for me to cook because it got, um, um, it's pitted number one and it's, it's just better for me to cook, you know, so use this kind of olives. I have here ranchero. Now, what is ranchero, you're asking? This is like the way us Puerto Ricans, we got our sofrito. So when we cook, Dominicans got this ranchero sazon. It's sazon ranchero. And this is what they, they mix with their beans, with their, um, with their with their beans, their meat, they also cook the meat with this, even the yellow rice with this. They they add this. So this is what it is. And you can find this in in like the Spanish aisle in a supermarket. Okay. Um I got this in ShopRite and I was surprised that they had it in ShopRite. So you could use this. It's really really good. Please buy this because this really does make your food tastes really really good i made um pollo guisado dominican style pollo guisado the other day which i'm uploading the video now um and it was delicious all right you you could actually smell the ranchero from the uh, when i was cooking so really really try to find this all right for your beans i got here sugar we're gonna add about like maybe a, a tablespoon of sugar I got here um, chicken cubes. <laughs> I got two of them. Now, I know maybe I should just use one, but I do want a little bit of the chicken um, flavor into the beans, so that's why I'm adding two. I also have sazon. I have one pack. And over here, I got some veggies, which is 
potatoes, onions. I got a piece of onions, not too big. Cilantro with stem and oil, all right? I got here in big chunks, um, green, t green pepper and red pepper. Okay, so I just want you to look at it. This is what you need. And yeah, we're ready to make these beans. The only thing that's like, that I could say that's, my phone is off the hook today, it's just ringing. Um, the only thing that I could say that it, that could make the, you know, that could give like flavor to the beans is these two chicken cubes and the sazon, cause this is the only thing that really has salt. Um, everything else don't have no salt, so that's why I had the salt here in case I'm gonna taste it. And if I have to add just a little salt, I'm gonna do just that. So let's get ready to make these delicious beans. Okay, so we got our pot here, but I also forget I forgot to mention two um recipe um two ingredients, okay? And it was right in my face. How how could I not? Um, extra virgin olive oil that was all the way in the back. I don't know why I didn't mention it to you. And I also have garlic chopped garlic this is like three cloves i like a lot of garlic it's up to you how much you want to add for your recipe so i'm just letting you know now i mean if you leave it up to me i think you could add maybe only one or two but i'm adding three so let's just get going here and let's put this closer and Wanna make sure and I'm uploading a lot of food videos today. Yay! <laughs> I know y'all miss my videos. So I am going to add about mm, like two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Let me see if this is on. What is it? And I'm just waiting for this to heat up just a little bit, you know? Meanwhile, let me go and open up the can of beans and the tomato sauce with my can opener. Which I should always have it open every time I, I do a tutorial, but it's just that I'm just going along with the flow. <laughs> like I'm. I'm showing you how I'm, I'm teaching you while I'm while I'm cooking, you know. So it it's not like I have everything prepped, you know. This is this is the real deal. This is what it is, you know. All right, I already opened up the beans. Sorry, guys. Not just looking at the pot with <laughs> with oil. Sorry. Okay, so first I want to add um the peppers. And the onion. I also want to add that. The cilantro. I hate this pot. This pot wiggles a lot. <laughs> but I'll buy pot one day. Alright, and we're going to go put some olives up in here. I'm putting just a tablespoon. I like this because look, even it, it comes with the pimiento too as well. So that's why I'm saying you should buy these. Okay? Remember, salad olives. It got the pimiento and it's pitted. And I like it because it adds, you know, a, you know, like a nice presentation to your food. Sugar. 
time to go in one hand. One spoon. You know what? I'm gonna add two. But I have some nice sweet beans. Oh, the camera went another way. Sorry. And I'm also gonna add the garlic. Mm, smells good in my house. So good. Mm -mm. Smells like heaven right now. Did I just say that? <laughs> mm, it really smells good in my house. <laughs> and I'm going to open up the chicken cubes. It's called bouillon something like that. But I don't like to say it like that. I just say cubes because I don't know how to pronounce that. And you crush it with your hands because sometimes it's hard to, you know, while it's cooking for it to just, you know, break apart while you're cooking. So you crush it with your hands. Good in my house. I wish you could smell it. I'm gonna open up the pack of sazon right now. The potatoes I'm gonna add last because you know when the, all the liquid is there. Man, my house smells so good. Like, I'm sorry I keep saying that. <laughs> and I'm gonna add some oregano. And I usually put it in my hand like a pinch and I kind of go like this for it could, for all that flavor could infuse in there. We're almost done adding almost everything. Okay. Um, now, we want to add, I don't know if I should add the whole can of, 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 of sauce or half. Let me see. Let's start off with half, okay? Sorry, the spoon makes a lot of noise. Okay. I don't know, let's see. And I'm opening up my can of Toby. Most that starts sizzling, I'm gonna add it. And I'm gonna add it with liquid and oil, okay? Some people rinse out their beans. If you want to rinse out your beans, you can. But I'm not going to. I'm just gonna add the whole thing there. Okay, I'm starting to sizzle. I'm gonna add at least, I'm gonna add water to this whole can, okay? And you have to smell my house, I'm saying it again. Cause it smells so damn good. <laughs> I'm gonna add um, also about a half a can. And I know y'all like, that's a lot of water. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I like a lot of the, you y already know I don't eat beans. I eat certain beans, but not all beans, all right? Um, and and y'all already know, well, you already know I don't eat all, you know, all types of beans, only some beans I, I like. So I usually always put more water to my beans because I eat, I, I eat it with the sauce and the potatoes. I know it sounds weird. <laughs> 
and stuff like that but you know that's how i eat it you know and i just like it i just like it this is gonna get thick though you know and it, it will reduce but i just like more of the sauce and the beans i mean and, and, and the potatoes rather than the beans there's certain beans i eat there's certain beans i don't eat i know it's weird but <laughs> that's just the way it is <laughs> And I'm gonna put this high now. Cause I had it on like like low, medium like. So there goes the potatoes there. Let me add some some pepper, just a little bit. Okay. And I'm not gonna add no salt into like I said, I know. And I still got the half can of tomato sauce but I'm not I'm not too sure if I'm gonna add it yeah hold on um I am gonna add some ranchero and I am gonna add a decent amount because I love this hold on let me see how I how I can show ya one two three there you go three squeezable of size ranchero <laughs> In case anybody want measurements, cause you know me, I, I eyeball everything. <laughs> so this is good right here, and these beans are looking real pretty. Okay, we gotta separate all those cilantro. They gotta go different places. <laughs> all right, let's see how they look. Yeah, they look nice. And I don't want to taste it now until it starts to boil. So when it starts to boil, we'll be back. Okay, so it's starting to boil. So let me get my spoon. And like I said, remember, it will thicken up. So relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes time. <laughs> let me go and just taste the, the juice a little bit. Hold on. Mmm, tastes so good. Oh my god. I'm taking another one. And I don't want to hear, oh my goodness, you used the same spoon. Um, hello, this is for my and my family. But this is so good. You don't need to add no salt. I'm not adding no salt to nothing. The chicken cubes and the sazon seasoned it very well. And let me also explain how good this tastes. You could really, really taste the, ran the ranchero, the sauce, the sazon. You could really taste these beans. Trust me. It's really good. Please make these beans. Mmm. They're so good. Let me tell you something. You know what's making these beans taste really, really good now? This right here. I'm telling you, buy it. <laughs> That's how come I keep showing it to you for you can know that you gotta buy it. Now, as far as me, um, putting the tomato sauce. I think I'm gonna add the rest of the tomato sauce. There you go. So the whole can of the eight ounce of um tomato sauce, okay? That way it could thicken up. And then I'm gonna show you a, a, a way how to really make it thicken up. I'm trying to separate these um, cilantro. <laughs> They're just all together, you see? I want them to be in different places. They're just in one bunch. I think I'm gonna have to take it out and do my thing. It's hot though. <laughs> I'll do it off camera though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate this. That's if I remember because I'm Right now, I'm gonna make um, white rice, um, fried chicken, and some nice arugula salad with this. 
All right, so yep, I'm tasting it again because I added to the, the sauce, the tomato sauce. Mmm, tastes very, very good. Very yummy. This is really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this. Um, and I am going to cook it on high um, for a good, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm going to check up on it to see if it's getting thick. Um, I'm, I will be showing you everything. Don't worry. You know, I'll take you with me on this journey and we'll be back we'll be back like at around like 10 15 minutes okay so i have my beans on that side because i'm making my rice on the other side and it's looking very very good wish you could see it better and look at how thick it is wait a minute as you can see, it's thickened up lovely. I'm going to taste it just a little bit and see how it's been going. It's been 15 minutes, okay? And I think the potatoes are done as well. Mmm, such great flavors, I swear. I just want to show it to you. Now what we're going to do is, this is another trick that the Dominicans do. I'm going to take a few beans and I'm going to put it in this plate, okay? Don't mind that, that's my rice, I'm making rice. <laughs> um, I was gonna drink coffee too, but look at the beans, and they are pretty beans. Look at this, look. All right? Now you don't have to do it, but this is very typical in Dominican beans, all right? <laughs> that's why it's Dominican beans. Um, Puerto Ricans don't do this with, you know, with our beans. Some, you know, like, not that I know of, but Dominicans do this with their beans. And they squash it with a fork. Just mash it up a little bit. Just, not the whole beans, just like a few beans in your pot. Just take, like I said, like two or three little spoons. Mash and mash and mash away. And that's what they do. This also makes your beans thicken up even more that's why i guess they do it that's why i think they do it because it makes your, your your sauce more thicker you know and more creamier so that's why they do this with their beans um, so as you can see i mashed them up let's go back to the beans oh wait a minute hold on I don't know if I can focus this. Oh, yep. I got. <laughs> Sorry about the camera. <laughs> I gotta start frying some meat. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna put it right back. Right back in the pot. And that's the way they do their beans, the mini beans. Some are broken into, and you still got nice, pretty beans in there. And these are your beans. So I'm gonna let this cook since this is really thick already and basically cooked, done. I'm gonna cook this for another five minutes, you know. Another five more minutes. 
and we're done with these beans okay I'm also gonna show you um, I'm also gonna show you what I'm cooking the white rice the chicken you know that way look at this you can I wish you could tell because you see those little spots those are the mashed beans see and this camera don't really let me really take one of these days I'm gonna buy me a good camera trust me look at this so this is some good beans I'm telling you right now it tastes good everything I'm gonna go and um, like I said this is real low now all right um, I'm gonna cook it for another five five seven minutes and then I'm gonna just shut it off and just leave it there while I cook my white rice and fry my chicken and I'm gonna show you that as well okay so my beans are done and I got my phone so maybe you can see more details you know with the other camera you can't really see mm. Look at the texture of the sauce, nice and creamy. That's why they squash their beans. I think it has that nice sauce. Okay, so we got the beans here. I'm gonna shut it off. All right, and I can't wait to have some of this delicious sauce and this nice, beautiful peppers and, and everything in it. Mm. Okay, so that's that. I'm also making some fried chicken cutlets. Sort of like chicken fingers. I wanted to make something quick, so that's that. I got a whole bunch of chicken to fry. I got my rice right here, which I'll show you when, you know, when it's open. And I got here my lettuce, nothing fancy, nothing fancy, but it's just lettuce, tomatoes, and some red onions. Um, I didn't go to the store to buy no avocado, no platanos, which is plantains. So it's just going to be white rice. Dominican style beans and some fried chicken and some salad. <laughs> but hey, that's a good combination, right? <laughs> I'll show you everything. Um, everything looks good. You know, I just gotta fry a few more chicken and then I'm gonna show you the plate. Okay, so I am finished. Um, I had to fry so much chicken, it's not even funny. <laughs> but I got everything done and here's the plate white rice with nice Dominican beans and it tastes really really good and look at how pretty and yummy they look they're so soft too so you're gonna love it and I have here some salad I have to put the salad dressing though <laughs> next I oh, I never put the salad dressing till I'm ready to eat so if you never see salad dressing in my salad you already know and I got here some fried chicken, chicken cutlets. I added a few spices. I even added a little bit of curry um, powder so it can have that curry taste. And my kids can't wait to eat. <laughs> I just wanted to do this video real quick. And this is it. I really hope you make these beans because they're really, really delicious and you're going to really, really like them. And your whole family, they're going to love them too. Um, I hope that, um, oh, I'm just, I'm sorry. Every time I do, um, every time I record with my iPhone, I get alerts. So sometimes I stop to read it and then I, I forget that I'm recording. Um, but I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you do it one day for your family if you're not subscribed um, Take a look at my channel see what I got and if you feel like I'm worth you know You subscribing to me then fine, you know, um, I don't force nobody to subscribe to me 
Um, I do a whole bunch of food videos, hauls, you know, I do a variety of different things. <laughs> but that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and have a blessed, blessed day. Bye.